Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Good morning. This is day four of our Celebrity Equinox cruise. And Jenny, where have we landed at in this morning? We are at Costa Maya. Costa Maya, Mexico. We just docked here. It's about uh, 8.30. We're gonna go grab breakfast, guess where? In blue. Because that's what you do when you're in the aqua class. You eat in the blue restaurant. We have hit some of the other restaurants. We we're definitely sharing those with you, but uh, breakfast is easy in blue, right? Absolutely. All right, we're gonna get some breakfast. I'm actually gonna jump off here and explore the port. Jenny's gonna stay on the ship, so we're gonna have a split day. It's gonna be fun to see what goes on. But uh, yeah, day four, Costa Maya. Let's do this. Mexico. Jenny. What? Did your breakfast taste extra special because it's Costa Maya day? Mm, sure. Or did it taste the same? It tasted the same. It was great. Yeah, so they have the same breakfast every morning at Blue. And again, it's not really anything crazy, uh, but the atmosphere is super nice. It's super nice. And you know what? It's, um, you know, it's not biscuit and gravy. It's not everything that hurts our tummies. Yeah, I don't know if they even, I wonder if they have, we'll have to look at the buffet one morning to see if they have biscuits and gravy, but it's basically continental style breakfast. They do have like a healthy omelet option. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of cool stuff in blue, and that's really kind of the signature of blue is kind of lighter choices. Uh, it's uh, tied, clean yeah, clean cooking, it's tied to the spa cabin, so uh, it's kind of a whole health motif there. Mm -hmm. But Three main ingredients, that's what they say. Three main ingredients. Mm -hmm. The food's been really good, but Very all right. Good. I'm gonna go put on sunscreen. I'm gonna make sure that I have cash and I'm going to go to the port of Costa Maya. Yes, you are. Jenny's gonna explore the ship a little bit. She actually has some work to do. Uh, again, we've been talking about this theme of uh, trying to work while on the cruise ship. Is it possible? And uh, Jenny's gonna test that out today. So I'm gonna test, we'll get a report. I'm not testing the fates. Not testing the fates, testing the working at sea. So we'll, uh, right. we'll check that out in a little bit and see if it's actually possible. That's all right. <laughs> all right, guys. We are going to get to the port again. Uh, I don't know. The seas are choppy. I'll have to show you some of that. But looking forward to seeing what's going on in Costa Maya. Jenny? Money? Have a good day without me. Aw, I will miss you. She's going to have a good day without me. I'll miss him. We'll catch up with you later. Bye. Bye. So Tony went into Costa Maya. I stayed on the ship to get some work done and all that good stuff. But I just, I love this view. <laughs> the floating tree just fascinates me. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I love the little game room that they have and a nice little library, but I'm gonna go back to the room, drop off my um, computer and such. Let's go back to the room, drop off these bags. All right, quick time check, it's about 10, 16. I just stepped off the Celebrity Equinox, getting ready to make my way down the pier into Costa Maya. Now we do have a company today. This is the Empress of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's cruise ship uh, in port with us. And uh, let me show you, the, the, the seas are a little uh, rough it's interesting, even with the huge uh, Equinox docked, we can feel these waves kind of pounding against the side of the ship. But, all right, we're gonna make our way down and uh, see what is up in Costa Maya. So part of the recent upgrades to the Equinox was to paint the hull blue. I think this is uh, super cool looking. It matches kind of what they're doing with the Edge class of ships. I think it gives it a, a little bit of a unique feel compared to uh, just a plain white cruise ship. It is warm today. I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels uh, feels like it's probably in the 90s. So Costamaya is on the same coastline as Cozumel. Uh, we are just a little further south than Cozumel. So tomorrow we will make our way up the coast north uh, to hit Cozumel. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice mix of 
Okay, so a lot of people um, are gonna get mad, but yes, I I smoke, but the um, smoking sections on Celebrity Equinox, not so good. You can't, number one, smoke in the casino, which is good because, you know, I, I'm sure I'm gonna save some money on this cruise because of that. And then they have something, uh, Deck 5, which you kind of just feel like you're in high school and you're sneaking around smoking a cigarette so and it's not very comfortable then up by the um let's see up by the pool area by the mass grill they do have smoking out by the bar there but there is no cover you are sweltering from the sun the heat um if it rains you're out of luck too uh the the one that I kind of feel is a little bit okay is the one on the lawn. It's all the way in the back by the sense, Sunset Bar, I believe. And you can um, smoke on the port side, I believe it is. Um, but we will go up there later because we're going to go to our glass blowing from up there, which is super exciting. I'm super excited. So this first little section, last minute tours, this is where excursions kind of take off. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty nice park, uh, port area, pretty nice port area. It looks like it was built kind of recently. Nice little shaded area. Oh, no, thank you. Right into kind of the shops area. Start on the outside here. Would not be a cruise port unless there was a Diamonds International. Wow, lots of shopping here. Uh oh. Starbucks with free Wi-Fi. Wow. I think this might be where they have the the guys that swing around on this pole. Maybe that'll happen later. Free Wi-Fi with your purchase. Get a little coconut water. This is really one of the nicer implementations of a kind of a port area that I've seen. Again, this may be fairly new, but I think what they've tried to do is bake a lot of stuff to do in this port area. We got a nice pool. So lots of lots of shopping over here. Again, it looks like there's some places that you can get your drink on. Uh, they've got a, a sky course here. Like a ropes course. This looks pretty cool. Walking on air. 
There's all kinds of, at least I've seen a few different uh, types of wildlife as part of the experience. You can get up, and clo up close and personal, so uh, pretty cool. Over this way. The chocolate here. Looks like they have a little dolphin encounter right here off the port. How cool is that? Right here in the shadow of the cruise ship. It's like uh, Tony Montagna. Say hello to my little friend. Cigar shop. Fish, but oh, they have the fish. Bar. Oh, and this looks like where you leave the uh, where you leave the port. Interesting. Hey guys, so I had somebody ask about the mirrors on in the cabin. So um, for the Celebrity Equinox, I definitely think they have um, a sufficient enough of sufficient amount of mirrors. Um, so when you're sitting at the desk, when you're sitting at when you're sitting at the desk, you have this mirror. Hi. And that's, um, so you have this mirror when you're sitting at the desk. So you can put your makeup on, that kind of stuff. And then when you come in the front door, let's see, when you come in the front door, you have this full length mirror. Someone specifically asked, though, about in the bathroom if they have, um, there's the mirror in the bathroom. Now, someone specifically asked if they had a magnifying mirror, um, anywhere in the cabin. And unfortunately, they don't. Um, but let me show you what I bring with me. This is, oh, it's a little dirty. <laughs> but it's a little carry-on that I bring. Um, I think I got it for like, it says $3. I got it for like $3 at Ross or something. Um, but yeah, that's what I bring <laughs> because it does have the magnifying on one end and that. And it's very easy to hold when I'm putting on my makeup. But that's my report on the mirrors um, in the cabin of the Celebrity Equinox. Oh. 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 Oh.
Okay, so yeah, they had the Luchador match. This is super cool. It's right in the middle of Costa Maya, right in the port area. Cold drinks, Luchador, great way to escape the sun on a port day. Very cool. Quick time check, 1221, been off the cruise ship about two hours. A really cool day over in Costa Maya. Again, if you just wanna get off, if you want a little bit of a beach break, if you wanna swim at a pool, if you wanna get something to drink, it's a really good port to do that. You don't have to really engage in a huge excursion or anything like that. And, and they do have some excursions there. Like I said, the dolphin encounter, you can get done there. So been off the cruise ship for two hours. It's about four hours before we leave port. So I'm gonna sneak back on, hopefully avoid some of the crowd catch up with Jenny. Look at that. That's the Empress of the Seas. That is the Celebrity Equinox. It is that cruise life. Look, I like big ships. I cannot lie, but uh, I'm going to get back on. Super nice day in Costa Maya. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get into next. We'll catch up with you. We'll see you on the Lido, as it were. Bye. Jenny. What are, you... what are you doing? Mm, I might be taking a cruise nap. Cruise nap. Okay, so the quick time check. It's 2.04. I am uploading uh, a Mel Monday video I'm trying while we're here in Costa Maya. Part of our theme today is to talk about being able to work while we're on a cruise. I know you gave it a shot earlier. What did you think about the experience? Uh, it worked perfect. So you were able to get stuff done? I was able to book a couple of cruises. I was able to respond to emails. Um, yeah, have conversations with people. Wow. And oh. if they had an iPhone, I was able to call them. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, it's all about uploading videos. The internet's been a little slow, but I started an upload. We did grab a quick lunch. We did a comparison between Guy's Burger and the Mast Grill. That video's out already, so make sure you check that out. I'll leave a link above and in the description. Just a real fun little quick video about going from this room to the Mast Grill, getting some lunch to check that out. But let's go check on the progress here on the, on the computer. So I just started the upload probably 10 minutes ago. So I'm getting about 4% every 10 minutes. This is a pretty big video. It's like 20 minutes long. Uh, so that should be up, but it seems pretty doable. Uh, this is the big thing for us. We want to cruise more, but we've got to be able to get our work done. And I think with the internet getting better, I think it's going to be possible. But so it's uh, two o'clock here in Costa Maya. The all aboard is at 4.30. Uh, we're going to go have dinner, but probably early tonight because we have our We've got our glass blowing at nine o'clock, so that's later on this evening. So still some a few more things to get into, but hopefully I can get this video done. And maybe I'll do a time check when it's done, but that's what we got going on. We got a cruise nap, we got a YouTube upload. Uh, it's that cruise life, and we got this beautiful view. I don't know if we can see it. Well, there's Jenny. <laughs> I'm a beautiful view. <laughs> we have this beautiful uh, view to work by. So uh, Costa Maya. Can't get over the luchadors, it was so fun. Okay, we're about a half an hour in. We've moved the operation to Cafe de Bacchio. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Baccio, Bacchio, Ralph Macchio. Either way, it already seems faster, so maybe it's because we were in the metal of our cabin. But uh, only two hours and 55 minutes, so we're gonna get some coffee and see if this uploads. All right, guys, quick time check. It is 4 o'clock. The download has gotten to 57%. We're on the wrong side of Costa Maya for a cool sail away, so I think I'm going to go downstairs and 
uh, hook the GoPro to the side like on deck five in the shade. See if I can get a cool sail away. Again, the only big plans, here's here's the upload, 57%. We're getting there. It's going to happen. It's going to happen tonight. It says one hour and 34 minutes, but we're back in the cabin. I'm not sure if the internet's as peppy over here in the cabin. But, uh, yeah, so really the only big plan is the 9 o'clock glass blowing and the 920 glass blowing. So we're going to sneak dinner in there. Jenny is just getting cleaned up. But first, we must leave Costa Maya. I almost forgot we got our afternoon canapé for the aqua class. I don't know about this canapé. I mean, it just seems like it's very, I mean, I know the point is it for it to not be much, but we got like pizza pockets, I think. We got this. I don't know what that is. We got shrimp salad and then something sweet. So usually they give you some savories and some sweet. I don't really know what these things are. Hmm. Hmm. All right, hold on. I'll try one. Let's try this weird looking thing here. Oh, I shouldn't touch it with my hands, I bet. Oh, wow. That was like a big weird bite of blue cheese. Hmm. All right, we'll try Try the pizza pocket. There's nothing in it. It's like a pita puff. Pita pillow. All right, I gotta go to sail away. Catch up with you later. Bye. guys quick time check it is about 440 everybody is back on board uh, there were some people that came after the all aboard time of 430 but they pulled the gangway away and let me tell you what I don't know if it's the tropical storm that's churning in the Gulf and in the Caribbean seas but we got a lot of white caps we could be in for a bumpy ride tonight but I think we're gonna take out of here before the Empress of the Seas and uh, as always we'll give you a little look at the sail away but man great day in Costa Maya this port, if you don't want to leave the port area, you can come have a great time. You can swim, you can have a drink, you can do some shopping. You don't have to do much, but uh, yeah, you know how it is. No pier runners today. Everybody on board, on to Cozumel. The sailor. so close to this video being uploaded what time is it Jenny it is 5:44. 5:44. so we're still doing well on time we wanted to try to make it to dinner by like six o'clock right what time did we want to make it we wanted to make it to dinner by <laughs> six o'clock look uh, can I make a confession Go ahead. I've fallen in love with this shirt as my dinner shirt I get a little obsessive compulsive is it okay to wear the same shirt night after night don't tell anybody Let's just say I have multiples of this shirt. You do. I like this shirt. So we are waiting. We really want to share this video. You know, look, it's I get anxious when I don't upload a video every day. I know we're out on the high seas, but we really do see this working at sea as our future. And so I'm sticking through. It's taking about three, four hours for this thing to upload. But now that I know that it'll work like that, maybe I'll get a video ready and let it run overnight or something. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to guess where we're going to eat three guesses three letters red 
No, Jenny, why? <laughs> I like the blue restaurant, but why have they taken the E out of it? You know what it reminds me of? And no disrespect, it reminds me of people that spell Barnett and don't put the E on the end of it. No, it reminds me of Blue. No, Blue has... From that Disney movie, like no. Baloo. I bet you there was an E in that person's name. That's what they used to call Grandpa Richie. The restaurant's good. That's Blue. where we're going. We're going to Blue. I don't know what's on the menu tonight. Th we are going to vary on the last night. Just a teaser. La Petite Chef. Uh, they said wait until the end and we're doing it on the last sea day. I, I know. Wait. I'm going to miss everybody though in Blue. I know. We've got a great we wait staff. We have to make staff. sure we say goodbye to them. Yes. All right, Jenny. Let's watch. 13 minutes left. Then we're going to go to Blue. We'll see you guys in we're Blue. We're going to Blue. We'll see you in Blue. Jenny, what are you? How was your dinner? It was most fantastic. What was the big winner on the dinner tonight? The pistachio ice cream. The pistachio <laughs> ice cream. That was. I really do think dessert's your main course, right? It really is. All right, well, another successful night in blue. Pistachio ice cream wins the day. Mm -hmm. You ready to How go get some? Uh, for me, I liked the uh, escargot. That was my favorite thing. Okay. All right, you, ready? you want to get some coffee? I do. Goodbye, blue. New blue, not old blue. Have some respect. That's right. So quick time check, it is almost 9 o'clock and we are scheduled to make glass here at the Hollywood Hot Glass. We're going to make glass? Well, we're going to, I don't know, I don't know what the official term is. Glass will be made, yeah, I think yeah, so. I think you're right. We're going to blow glass, maybe? I don't know. We're, we're going to color go. glass? Yeah. We're going to make some stuff. Are you excited? And we're going to give one of them away. We are going to give one of them away. So, uh, I don't know which one yet. I bet you Jenny makes the prettier one, but we'll have to see which one we give away. But yeah, so Jenny's going to go first. I'm going to go second. And we are going to make glass on a cruise ship. Uh, I think we picked the right time because the sun is down and it's not super hot. No, nice and windy up here. And but you may not be. What do you mean you want to make it a competition? I bet you I make the better glass object. I mean, come on. They should call us. Up. Ding ding ding. They want you on the competition. Alright. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, so this is sponsored by Hollywood Hot Glass. Hollywood Hot Glass, right? Yeah. Check it out. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, mine's gonna be so much prettier.
What do you think, Jenny? You better be well, careful. Now we have to separate this from the rock, right? Okay. Oh, look how beautiful it is. It's pretty nice. Okay. Jenny, you did it. That's awesome. What a good job you did. Well, well thank you. Jill was such a big help. Excellent. All right. My turn. Celebrity Equinox, come make the glass. Absolutely. Justin? Justin. I'm not saying it's a Justin versus Jill thing, but I'm fairly excited. What he's saying though is that it's a Jenny versus Tony thing. No, never a Jenny versus Tony thing. I always lose them. That's true. It is hot over here, Jenny. It is very hot. You're doing such a good job, Tony. Thank you. Don't patronize me. <laughs> In order to get the meat inside, it's about to just right up and down to the contacts. So I know you really can't see that, but it is glowing. And we get to get one outside. It's pretty amazing, yeah. What colors are those? Orange, blue, and yellow. It's gotta be funky. Orange, blue, and yellow. Yours actually, you can see the colors. Oh, it's gonna go right next to the winning one. <laughs> you definitely gotta do this. This is uh, it's, it's not super expensive either. What was no. it, like fifty bucks each? Fifty nine. Yeah. One oh seven for two, maybe. You gotta roll that on beer. Make something. Yeah. All right, guys, that was the hot glass experience on the, on the Celebrity Equinox. Look, big ups to Justin and I guess to Jill. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Come on, Jill's, Jill's on the winning team. <laughs> These guys were great, and uh, they worked super hard because we saw them the other night in the heat. Yeah. They're here getting it done, and I tell you what, uh, super kind, super helpful. Uh, nothing to be afraid of, even though you're working around 2,000 degree ovens. Uh, it was great. You guys are great. Thank you so much. HollywoodHotGlass.com. Uh, we just made it to the elevators, and the glass, the folks at Hot Glass have their profiles, and some of their art. This is really cool. Justin, uh, the master, the person that helped make the winning glass, uh, with some sea creatures, some octopi, a snail. It looks like a stingray representation. Very cool. And then, of course, we have uh, Jill, unfortunately. Jenny uh, Jenny brought her down. Sorry, Jill. No, she's Jill got was fantastic. Some really nice pieces. Look at this. She's got the pumpkin carriage. She just graduated from BFA in glass blowing. Oh, wow. 
I like these ice cream cones. Me too. And then we didn't get to see uh, this. I don't think this is any. Oh, this isn't it. This is just a yeah. description. These are some of the other things that you can make. So in the Equinox, come and hang out with Jill and Justin. Look, we gotta wait till tomorrow night to see who's better. I mean, I'm gonna have to be the winner because Justin, Jill, Jenny, all J's. I think we'd had a mic. Jenny would have just dropped it. All right. Tomorrow we decide who's got the better glass. Oh, I already decided. Jenny, I'm big fond. I'm fond of your glass. It's uh, I like the way it's shaped and uh, good with the color. So I can't wait to uh, get a closer look at your glass later. Later. Okay, so we avoided testing the fates last night. We did. But tonight we're back for redemption. It's a redemption story. Jenny putting in $46. Is that $46? Yes. $46 becomes $1 million on the Celebrity Equinox. So the Celebrity Equinox, the way that you uh, connect to the program is you have to tap your card. Yeah, and then I don't know if it's me or not, so. And that, that's been a, a point of contention. Look, Jenny continuously taps the card. Is she in? Is she not in? Is she earning points? See, that's not me. So it's not Jenny. So now what Jenny does is she will sign out and the tapping begins again. Okay, blue, tap, Cardi welcome Jennifer. It says welcome Jennifer. Okay, so this is the ritual before you even play Jenny's going to be playing at 40 cents per spin. Just the minimum. It's the minimum. We know this isn't the best strategy to win, but we're going for longevity. We're not going for winning. We don't believe in winning. We believe in playing a long time. I don't know why you're laughing. You know it's true. Jenny has picked the dullest, ugliest looking game. It really is ugly. Let's go find someone else. No, I was just kidding. You, if, you're feeling, if you're feeling the wolf run, I don't know what you're supposed to get. She just won five cents, everybody. So this is what Jenny does. She spends 12 minutes trying to get signed into the game, and then she cashes out immediately. All right, Wolf Run, we knew you no more. Three dollars less in the bank. Wow, we lost three dollars that quickly. All right, on to the next. All right, we've moved over to Pearl Dynasty. Okay, you have to get three or more of these things. What if for free spins? That's what we want, free spins? Yes. Free I, don't, I don't really know what's good at slot machines. I, I only know how to play games with good odds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No harshing on the slot players. All right, so wild is wild. We want the pearl diamonds. Let's darken this up a little bit for your viewing pleasure. Free spins. Free spins. Jenny teaching the slots. Oh, and the wild gets stacked. That's good. Does anybody know what that means? Wilds get stacked. Alright, let's exit. All right. Let's play 50 cents. The noise is crazy in here. This is why it's so exciting. First spin, we, we got, got gots. we got gots. Nothing. All right, we're betting 50 cents at a time. It's the minimum. We won 10 cents. Right. I think we started at 43. $43, that's what we'll say. All right, so we're gonna play this one for a minute. Oh wait. Stack wild? That's a stack wild. We're on stack wild with the FDA. All right, we're gonna hit this reels a few times. We'll check back in with you. See what happens. Jenny, tonight's the night? Tonight's the night that we redeem? Maybe. Look, you can't, you can't have any more fun than this for 40 to, oh, something happened. Mama's gonna get a new pair of shoes. Can somebody tell me where you get shoes for two dollars and fifteen cents? Because uh, I don't know, I don't know if Mama's gonna like the two dollar pair of shoes. Aqua socks at the Dollar Tree, maybe so. Let's do this. Time.
time check 9.30. I'll come back to you when we're done and see what's what with this $43. 9.30. Let's see when we speak again. Okay, Jenny's left me in charge, so I, I get to spend a few times. She just left me, I'm at $36. $36, all right. All right, Jenny's back. I wasn't a big winner while she was gone. I don't remember what I said I started with, but now I'm I'm at 24.58. All right, let the master come back. Jenny, we're gonna change machines. You better brought me some. We're changing machines. Yeah. Did you bring me water? Of course. I'm already a winner. All right, it's happening right here, folks. We're down to 22 dollars. Where it's 9.46. Crazy stuff's happening. Nothing yet. Oh, look at all those wilds. Crazy stuff. Two. Two wins in a row. Seven dollar win. Not bad for 50 cents. cents. Alright guys, time check. It is 10.08 and our $40 has turned into... A, 52 cents. Oh. I thought we were going to have a better story than that. 52 cents. Jenny, I think your luck is gonna change. Do you? You found the machine that you like. I know. We just didn't have enough, uh, you know, we didn't have enough, I was gonna say bullets for the gun, that seems extreme, but we didn't have enough, uh, you know, uh, ammunition to feed the machine, but maybe tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night. All right, well, what do you wanna get into? I don't know. You're having coffee? A coffee? All right, let's go to the coffee bar. You want coffee? Do you wanna go see what the white party looks like? Where is that at? The pool? Sure. Alright, let's go see what the white party looks like. Because we're dressed in black. <laughs> <laughs> we sure know how to do it. of uh, kind of the white party, the deck party. Uh, of course, she got that dance that I never know the name, Curly Shuffle, Shuffle, I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, they got the same old uh, organized dancing as everybody else, but uh, kind of doing it during the white party. Jenny snuck back up to the lawn club. I'm gonna see if it's toward the end of the Rocky movie, but uh, yeah, man, it's a uh, kind of a cool chill night here. Making our way to Cozumel. We will be there tomorrow going to Mr. Sancho's. Uh, but it's been a great day here uh, on the Celebrity Equinox. Had a blast in Costa Maya, and uh, ooh, it's the scene where Rocky's beating up the beating up the stakes. So let's see if we can find Jenny. I thought the night was over, but Jenny said maybe. What you say? Maybe we get some pizza. Maybe we get some pizza. Do they do that here? They do. There's a single star shining in the sky. It's, it's the pizza star. <laughs> Are you gonna be the champ, Jenny? Okay, so we made it to the late night buffet. Basically, they just have, uh, they have pizza, they have fruit, they've got dessert, they've got a little bit of a salad bar, cold cuts, cheese, and they have a, they still have the pasta station, so check this out. Jenny got some, what, bow ties? Mm hmm With the bolognese. Yes. All right, so time check, it's about 10.30. I'll be honest, this is still my biggest uh, struggle. Done really good at not eating everything at dinner and not over ordering, but there's something about that cruise life that I love the late night pizza and fruit. And yeah, so I'm indulging in it. So I don't know what this means for our way in, but uh, this one's still a hard habit to break, but I, I'm not ready to break it. I'll be honest, I'm not ready to break it. I love late night pizza. All right, Jenny, let's chow down. This night's not over yet. Who knows what's next? I'm getting strong now, like Rocky. Jenny. What are you? We got our pillow chocolates. We do. Mm. Are they dark chocolate? They are. Nice. Day four, what do you think? We have done it all today. <laughs> We've done it all. I'm worn out from the heat in Costa Maya. But we got a big day tomorrow, making our first trip ever to Mr. Sancho's. I know, I'm super excited. The, Everybody says how wonderful it is. I'm ready to experience that. The ship gets into Cozy Mel at 7. 
So I think our plan is to get off around 8.30 or something. We want to have at least three or four hours over there. So, And the All Aboard is back at 3.30. And we're going on a non-ship excursion for the first time ever. So mm. we don't want to be late. No, we don't. All right, guys. Thanks so much for uh, tracking along with us. This has been our fourth day on the Celebrity Equinox. And we're having a, a really good time. Look. How cool was the glass blowing? The glass. That was, that the, was, that was cool. the highlight of today. Absolutely. I thought our time in the casino was the highlight of today. No. Maybe not. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for tracking along with us. If you found this entertaining at all, hit the like button. If you want to see our next adventure, make sure you subscribe. Again, this is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. We're on the wrong side. It's freaking me <laughs> out. And until the next time. <laughs> we'll see you on the Lido. Get out of the shot, Jenny. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Jenny can always be in the shot. That seemed, look, let me digress. That seemed a little rude. I didn't mean that in a bad way. Jenny, you close it out. I'm Jenny. And I'm Tony. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. See you on the Lido. Bye.